Throughout this video, we're going to be using the term URI an awful lot, and you're not going to see the term URL as much. URI is an acronym for Uniform Resource Identifier, and URL is an acronym for Uniform Resource Locator. The difference between the two is that a URI is basically a name. It's a representation of an entity of some kind of resource somewhere, whereas a URL specifies where that resource can be found. So a URL is a URI, but a URI is not a URL. Because a URL is a form of identification, it belongs under a subset of URI, but URIs aren't always going to show where a resource can be found. When we're going through this video, you'll see URIs like public, colon, slash, slash, and then the name of a file, whereas the URL will look something like HTTP, colon, slash, slash, the name of the file and the location of it. Because it provides the location and the protocol, which is the HTTP part, used to access that file, then that's considered a URL. One helpful way to think about the difference between URIs and URLs when developing for Drupal is that in the past, in Drupal 6 and Drupal 5, we accessed files according to their file path. So we use the file path in order to reference them. In Drupal 7, however, what we're going to do is use a URI. So I mentioned one just a moment ago, which was public colon slash slash, which is an indicator that the URI is pointing to a location on the server that is publicly accessible. And we'll talk about this in more detail when we discuss stream wrappers. But the basic idea is that we're using URIs instead of file paths to access files. On the other hand, when we want to make a file accessible through, say, a browser, we want to make sure that we have a URL which points to the location of the file and specifies what protocol we're using in order to access the file. So in a typical URL, it will be an HTTP protocol, and then it will point to the location where that file can be downloaded.